Hey everyone, Dave Erickson here. Today I'm testing out a new sports cam. This is a Vantop Moment 3. I'm going to use it to capture some of the footage on the outside as well as the inside of this brand new 2019 Toyota 86 TRD. For comparison purposes, I'm going to use my GoPro Hero 3 Plus against the Vantop Moment 3 and both of these will be in 1080p 60 frames per second. In an upcoming demonstration, I'll use the 4K version of the Van Top to see how that's different because if you have 4K, you want to see what it looks like and we'll do a demo of that. So here's the position of both cameras. This will be obviously over the hood. Now I have them at the same distance, about the same height, and this will be the 1080p versions versus 1080p versions. And then the next time you see it, and I'll label it, I'll show the 4K version next to the 1080p. So here's the position of the GoPro on the left-hand side. I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So you got a nice comparison of the van top. I'll put it uh, right here, and that, that'll be the angles of both of them. To turn it on, I have a button in here in the front. I'm gonna hold that down for a couple of seconds. It'll lighten up. So now I'm going to go through the settings. Right now it's at 4K, so I'm going to, for this demonstration, go back to settings, enter on top. We're going to change that to 1080p, enter here. So now that's set. And photos, good, exposure's good, everything's auto. Okay, now we're good at 1080p, so both of these are synced to be equal quality. So on this day I'm driving, the road's a little bit wet, and you can see that in both camera angles. And the quality looks pretty similar, and lighting looks pretty similar. Looks actually a little bit brighter with the van top on the right-hand side. Not sure if it's the monitor, and both cameras uh, seem to do a really good job. The wide-angle lens on both are comparable. Clarity's good with color. So I think when you go side by side in the 1080 from the GoPro Hero 3 Plus, which is, yes, I admit, a much older GoPro versus today's Van Top, I think they're of equal value in this case. This next demonstration will use the 4K version of the Van Top, which is the highest setting possible against the highest setting possible, which is a 1080p 60 frames per second of the GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Of course, there are other GoPros, but this is the one I'm using because this is the one I use for a lot of my car videos and my sports videos. So. 4K versus 1080, 60 frames per second. You can always tell the quality of your video by looking up here. You can see 1080p, 60 frames per second. And I'm going to change that to 4K now for my next set of demonstrations. So I'm going over to the settings option. Enter. Video resolution. Enter. And I'm going to cycle through until I see 4K. Enter. So from now, this point forward, the van top will be in 4K. There it is, 4K, 30 frames per second. Now the roads have dried out a little bit here in this video, and you can see the 4K on the right-hand side. And I think the color looks a little more vibrant on the right-hand side. As you see in the lower right-hand corner, the car has a little bit more uh, richness to the colors, but it's really hard to tell the difference between 4K and 1080p. I do know that the size of the file is a lot bigger, so you might wanna save yourself some space and go with the 1080p. In fact, you can, the battery life with the van top in the 1080p is about 80 minutes. You'll probably use a little more battery life when you're in the 4K and you'll save more space in the 1080p. But I think it's a little bit better quality on the right-hand side, but just a little bit. Now for this demonstration, we'll use these cameras on the inside, see if there's any difference. And this is a wide angle lens versus the best case scenario on the lens of this one. This one will look a little bit bigger as you saw in the first demonstration. All right, here's how I have the action cams hooked up to the front windshield. And I'll have them in this position for both the 1080p versus 1080p and the 4K versus 1080p. Now here inside, again, um, rich colors with the 4K on the van top, but I think you can probably be happy with both sides and the wide angle lens. They both have a wide angle lens on them. It's 170 degrees with the van top, very similar to the GoPro. GoPro looks a little bit wider, might be the position within the car, but I think it looks pretty good. 
I mentioned I like to use my action cameras for some of my biking or outdoor activities. Well, I decided to go out on a mountain bike adventure and do a comparison, like I have been with the car, using my mountain bike and propping both the cameras with the handlebar mount that it came with the camera here on my mountain bike. So you can see it right here. So in this comparison, I'm going to have uh, four different camera angles, two from each camera, one pointing away and one pointing at me as I traverse some of these trails. Take a look. Very similar results that we saw from the car video. I do notice that the GoPro seems to be a little steadier, not as shaky. And again, both of these are mounted side by side on the handlebars facing away and facing at me. It does seem a little brighter on the right hand side. I don't know if it's letting in more light with the van top. And don't be discouraged or distracted that I look darker on the van top when it's facing me. I think that's just because of the angle with more backlight maybe the lens a little bit wider with the GoPro, but I, I think I give this a slight edge to the GoPro because of the steadiness, and I give the van top the edge when it comes to vibrant colors. Either way, I think it works as a decent action cam, and again, I'm big on the price. So here is the carrying case you receive in the mail from Amazon. Again, there'll be a link in the description below this video if you want to get one of these. It's only 50 bucks, and it's probably the biggest selling point, one of the biggest selling points of this action cam, only $50 compared to the prices of other action cams. By the way, the Hero GoPro Hero 3 Plus that I got years ago, right now you can get it for between $85 and $135, depending on who's selling it on Amazon or on eBay and I should upgrade, I know I will, I will do that soon. But in the meantime, for 50 bucks, this is a good deal. So here's the box, show you what they give you in the box. This case here is waterproof up to 100 feet, as is most cases for your action cams. They also provide you with a remote, and my memory card came in this. Yes, they do provide a memory card. Here is the actual star of our program today. <laughs> and here are all the other attachments. And what's great about these attachments is the fact that these are compatible. Oh, and a second battery. How smart is that? Uh, compatible to all the GoPro attachments. So I've got a couple of GoPros, and yes, they're older ones, but all these attachments will um, go back and forth, so it's versatile. You also have some zip ties, a user's manual. So here's the inside of the, of the box. Pretty nice to have that for safety. I probably won't need all this, but it's a great place to keep all of your extra accessories. So here on the outside, you've got your power button on the underside, a spot to screw it onto an attachment. Here, you'll find the spot for the micro USB port as well as a micro HDMI port. In here, you got your battery, and there's also the micro SD card goes into there. This is your mode button, and this is your OK or shutter button, so when you're cycling through, and this here is your microphone. The button on the far side will be red if you're charging. The blue is uh, power and uh, also let you know there's Wi-Fi because it is Wi-Fi compatible. Bottom left, you'll see the microphone. That's one downside about this is the microphone isn't really that great. I like the GoPro because you can attach an external microphone to it, but this one you cannot. We're currently in video mode. I will press over. Now we are in photo mode. Next one over is slow motion. And then next over you have the playback option and then settings. So I'm gonna press OK on settings and go through. So there you can see the, your video resolutions that you saw before. I press OK. I can press the button in front of the camera. It'll cycle me through to choose what I want. And once I choose what I want, just press OK here. Uh, we can go recording sound, it's check marked, time lapse, loop recording, slow motion in that setting. Move over to photo resolution and so on, exposure, white balance, set up language, format the card if you need to, and then back to X and hit enter. And now you're back to video mode. When you're in play mode, just press the top button here and the video clip will play. And you can see how long it was. It was two minutes and one second. And I had this upside down in the car. So when you're editing, you can just make those kind of adjustments, but there you go, so it's normal. But when I was recording, it was upside down. When you're ready to power down, you'll just hold this button here for a few seconds. And there you go.
So for the price, the Van Top Action Cam is worth the investment for only $50 compared to today's GoPros of the world where they're $199, $299, $399 and you do have the Wi-Fi and a remote control. One downside is there's no external um, option to plug in for a wireless microphone, which I would like, but since it has all the other accessories that a GoPro does that you can attach to it once it's in its housing, you're, you are really good to go with the variety of things you can do. Put it onto a handlebar mount, put it on top of a, your, your helmet when you're going uh, skiing or mountain biking or running, any of those kind of things, or underwater activities. Uh, this is a, a good value for that. And I think it's definitely worth a look and absolutely a purchase for yourself or maybe someone else as a gift. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this uh, demo of the Van Top Moment 3 Wi-Fi 4K Action Cam.